In this video, we'll talk about the pencil tool available in Photoshop. We'll also create an enemy sketch and paint it. Welcome to Fabric Zone. Hey guys, welcome to Vetrix Home. In this video, we'll talk about the Photoshop Pencil tool and we'll also compare it with the Brush tool. To make things more interesting, we'll draw an enemy and paint it. So without wasting time, let's get started. So you can see the Pencil tool in the Brush group. Select it and you can see a couple of options on the Options bar. All the options are the same as you see in the Brush tool except one that is the Auto Erase tool. All right. But before that, you can see the default size of the pencil tip here is one pixel and the hardness option is not going to work over here. All right, let's check it out. Let's get a bigger size over here. So this is the result with hardness zero. And this is the result with hardness 100%. So you get it. Then you can see the brush preset options that we have already talked in the brush tool. All right, then you have got the blending options opacity and pressure sensitivity and then you have got the auto erase tool and this will allow you to draw the background color over the foreground color in the artwork all right and that's only gonna work when you try to start an outline from right above the existing outline all right so if i started on top of the existing outline it's gonna use the background color instead of the foreground color over here but if you started the outline somewhere else and moved it on top of the existing outlines then it's not going to replace the foreground color with the background color all right so you saw here that the pencil tool does the same thing that the brush tool does where the brush tool produces far more smoother outlines than the pencil tool and even offers a lot more flexibility so you can say pencil tool is one of the least used tool in forza all right so let's get it back to normal and let's create a sketch here then i'll create a new layer for that let's name it rough skates and like almost everyone out there working on Forza, I'll also go with the brush tool to draw outlines instead of the pencil tool. All right. I'll keep the opacity at 100% and the flow at 80% and start the painting from here. So we'll create the outline. It's just a rough skates. So once you're happy with the rough skates, you can create a new layer and refine the outlines over there. Lower the opacity of the rough skates to almost 30% and draw the outline right on top of it. And that will basically save your time and you don't need to get perfect at the very first attempt.
So here's the defined sketch only. Then let's create a new layer and then start adding colors. I'll add the colors beneath the refined sketch so that I can see the outlines easily. Then I'll go on to add different colors in different areas. Let's work on the shadows to them on a separate layer. The enemy looks good but I'd like to make it more cheerful so I'm going to replace the face color with a more bright color over here. Then the side color is not gonna match the skin color, so I'll erase the existing color and add a new one.
the side is done then let's work on the eyes then since i want to change the eye color i'll create a layer right above the refined sketch here let's change the name of the base color layer as well Let's add some highlights as well. So the anime sketch and painting is done. You can add more effort and make it more beautiful, but I'm happy with it. Let's group all the layers so that we can see what we did at the beginning and we can see the final result as well. I'll duplicate the refined sketch over here to keep it outside the group. So you can see this is the sketch we created here with the outline and this is the final painting. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching and please subscribe our channel for more videos. Thank you.